Hello everyone, Ramit here. Microsoft Dynamics 65 has rapidly evolved over the years, becoming a leader in the ERP industry. One area that was previously lacking was its reporting and dashboard capabilities. However, Microsoft has addressed this by launching the Business Performance Analytics Framework. This demonstration will show you how to install Business Performance Analytics in Microsoft Dynamics 65 Finance and Operations. In the next couple of videos, I will dive deeper and demonstrate how to create various type of reports using Business Performance Analytics. Business Performance Analytics is available from Tenor 38 version. You will be able to see this Business Performance Analytics as an add-on app. However, if you have not installed this properly, if you click on this app, it will land in the Microsoft Learning page. Once you have installed it, that will land you to a Dataverse page. What you see in my screen, these reports will be available straight from Dynamics Executive Finance and Operations. Let's see how we can install Business Performance Analytics in Microsoft Dynamics Executive Finance and Operation. I will be demonstrating using the Microsoft Documentation page so that you can refer my video at the same time you can refer the microsoft documentation page so there are a couple of prerequisites one prerequisites is regions it is generally available in australia uk usa europe canada and japan support for the following regions will be added by january 2025 which is india brazil east asia uae norway south africa and switzerland i'm recording this video on december 2024 so by one month these new regions will be added business performance analytics framework system requirements environment should be at at least tier to environment version requirements as i mentioned it, it must be a 10 or 38 version or above what are the prerequisites to installing business performance analytics we will see one by one just overall view that setup requirement privileges in power platform and dynamic system finance configure microsoft power platform configure microsoft intratenant move data from a production environment to a sandbox environment if needed, confirm the Power App users are enabled in Microsoft Dynamics System Finance, configure Dynamics System Finance, configure Power Platform Admin Center. We will go one by one. We will also see in the system. Next is required privileges. What it is setting in Power Platform, the system administrator and the system customizer roles in Power Platform Admin Center follow these steps to confirm that you have these privileges so first thing is that we need to have this uh, roles in the power platform admin center in the environment where you are trying to install the business performance analytics we will go to power platform admin center our power platform admin center is open we'll click on the environments we'll select this d65 academy demo in the access section users i will click on these three dots click on manage security roles and all the roles will be available here i just need to check that system administrator and system customizer role should be enabled as per the microsoft documentation and saved it security role have been updated for Anam ramit paul now let's go back to the microsoft documentation the next part is in microsoft dynamics Institute of finance so it is stating to give the system admin role in microsoft dynamics Institute of finance and operations um, in the Microsoft Dynamics Visitor Financial Operation, we will go to Users. This is my ID. I just need to give the System Admin role if that is not added. So for me, it is already added. If, if for you, you need to click on Assign Roles, find the System Admin role from the list, and then give the access. In Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services, which is LCS, the Organization Admin role to create environments. Additionally, the Project Owner or Environment Manager role must be assigned to the user in the project security role field in lifecycle services from this three dot line we need to click on the project users and from the project user you just need to make sure that the project security role is assigned as per the microsoft documentation click on select the user you need to click on edit and you need to give the role from here next part is configure microsoft or platform nowadays 
Power Platform Environment link up is mandatory from LCS. You need to go to LCS. Here the environment will be listed for the sandboxes and for cloud hosted environment you need to click on the cloud hosted environments. Full details. To enable the Power Platform environment, here there will be an option called Setup Power Platform Environment or Power Platform. You need to click on it and it will be completed. So there are documentation how to configure Power Platform. You can refer to those. And for me, it is already done. Once it is done, the status will be environment linking successfully completed. Most of the cases, for your cases also, it might have been completed for a different case. For most of the applications, is now mandatory Power Platform link environment. Next is configure the Microsoft Intra tenant. This step is basically to add a license to the user, which means Microsoft Dynamics Digital Finance license or equivalent license. You can go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center, users, active users, all the licenses are available here. It, it will work with finance, normal finance or finance premium or supply chain as well. If the license is not there, click on the user. From here, all the license will be uh, visible. You can just give the license. To give the license, you need to just click on here. I, this license is not added in my user. I will, I will just click on it and that's it. The next step is the optional move data from production environment to sandbox environment. If your sandbox environment having a lot of old data, that might give some error. However, I have not seen this type of error. It's an optional step. The next step is required configurations in Microsoft Dynamics Editor Finance. What you need to do? You need to go and check these components are enabled in the license configuration page from D65 Finance and Operation. Let's see. We need to go to System Admin, and from here, uh, we just need to find out the license configuration page, which is under Setup License Configuration. And in the license configuration, there are uh, components we, which, which you need to make sure those are enabled. So let's see. So general ledger, fixed asset, bank, trade, trade agreements, project, procurement one, service management. We'll go to see bank, bank is enabled. General ledger is enabled. Procurement one is enabled. So you need to check one by one all those components are basically enabled. If not, you cannot directly enable from here. You need to enable the maintenance mode from LCS, then only you will be able to mark it yes. How to enable maintenance mode? You need to go to LCS, select the environment, and from here click on maintain and enable the maintenance mode here once the maintenance mode is enabled here it will be showing as maintenance mode enabled you need to go to dynamics register of finance and operation you need to tick on record components once done you can save it and you need to go back and from here you need to disable the maintenance mode last and very important step without this business performance analytics won't be installed which is first you need to install the finance and operation virtual entity after that you need to enable the business performance analytics solution you need to go to power platform admin center you need to select the environments from on which you need to you want to install the business performance analytics for me this one you need to click on resource Dynamics is to apps. From here, you need to click on install app. Once you click on install app, from here, first you need to enable the virtual entity. Finance and operation virtual entity. You need to click on next and you need to click on agree and it will be installed. The installation takes a lot of time, maybe hours. Once done, it will be installed here. For us, in our environment it is already installed i will show you 
virtual entity this one is installed you need to make sure in your environment from power platform admin center it has to be installed the next is you need to install the business performance analytics app same thing you need to click on resource from the environment you need to click on dynamicity of apps you need to click on install app from here you need to click on business performance analytics click on next and here you need to click on install once you click on it it will take a few hours and it will be installed for us it is already installed in our environment business performance analytics it is installed it is installed now if you have followed all these steps your business performance analytics will be installed and you will be able to use business performance analytics going forward so for my case if i click on business performance analytics it takes me to a different landing page which is dataverse environment and it actually shows me all the reports from this framework the reports have opened for me for you also it it will be it must be opened if you have followed all the steps which i have showcased that's it for this video over the next couple of videos you will be able to see how to create reports in business performance analytics and i'm sure you will like those videos like you have liked this thanks for watching bye for now